Since a couple days ago was Friday the 13th, you gotta be asking yourself, how much Luna Classic does Jason Voorhees own? I'm gonna see if I can find out the answer to that and I'll get back to you. Anyway, um, yes, that's crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. Whatever, bro. So let's talk about Luna Classic and there's a lot going on. Now, of course, it hasn't led to price action. Why is it not led to price action? Well, we had a nice little pump recovery, if you will, from the dump that's happened as the broader markets were in sell-off mode on altcoins. And now Bitcoin has started to recover to a point that we're pushing 60,000 right now. Now, I do think that there's a dump coming. Uh, if we get, say, 25 basis points, we might see an immediate dump. If we get 50 basis points, we'll probably see a large pump before a dump. But I think that, you know, broadly speaking, the market is going to come down because of this, because it always does that, because it's seeking liquidity. So just go along with this. Now, the crypto market might fare a little bit better because the narrative has been shifting on it. So we'll talk about that at some point very, very soon. Now, let's see what happens today. The Fed meeting and the the the, the basis rate decision will be in a few hours from recording this. So we don't have any information yet. As soon as we get it, we'll give it to you. But let's check out Luna Classic because that's what you're here for. Uh, unless you're just loving the pretty face, right? Psst, you're not whatever, bro. All right. So conversation on CoinGate right now talking about community passes key proposal lunk to 0 0.0003. Now that's a got you kind of tag to say, hey, you know, come read me. I'm an article, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's a gotcha um, clickbait title, but is it really? And I don't think that it is. I don't think that the rally to uh, 0.0003 is imminent in the context of what they're saying, but let's cover a few things. First of all, validators are now set to 110, which will improve in my opinion, the stability of this ecosystem, and it will allow some of the validators who are thus over heavy, for example, Jesus is Lord has a large amount, all nodes has a large amount. There are some out, out there with large amounts, and maybe that dilutes their share and gives other people a vote. And I don't think that they stood in the way of this, as, as, as a matter of fact. So, um, and I don't think all nodes will, because of course, if you're becoming, that's 10 more validators that are gonna lease from them, so, you know, they're incentivized uh, to vote yes on it. But uh, there are a few other things going in here. Um, so <sighs> tax to gas improve the community sentiment. And what this article is basically telling you is that there are just a lot of things that maybe you don't realize, or maybe we don't realize, but there are a lot of bullish indicators happening right now in this market that are just ready for an explosive move. Now, here's the thing. We're jaded as a market. So we need to see positive price action. When we see positive price action, there's going to be a FOMO feeling. So it's going to get real crazy. Now, there's a whole bunch of different things. Burns, um, the upgrade from to tax to gas, the increase in validator. Uh, there's some things that I can't talk about that are coming down the road that you guys are going to be seeing pretty soon that will start to roll out. Uh, Juris Protocol. Guys, if you haven't already, Juris Protocol is about to change this game dynamically in a way that we haven't seen since the original UST Luna were pegged together. Now, we don't have a peg yet, but Juris Protocol has a banking lender now backing them, and this is gigantic. This is a massive moment for Luna Classic. It is about to get very, very serious. Now, is it going to be in one day? Eh, not really. It's going to take a little bit of time for all of this to develop and, and uh, to expand the brand, if you will, uh, improve this ecosystem. But we are getting there very, very quickly. So uh, if you're not bullish and you're one of those monkeys in in, in chat who say stuff like, hey, look, dead. Well, you're stupid and I can't help you. But everybody else, get ready. Get ready. And by the way, uh, if you want the big stuff, you're going to have to hold your bag. So make sure you hold on to that bag because um, do what you want to do. If you want to stay up to date on all the goings on of cryptocurrency, then you need to follow me on cryptonomy.finance. My name is Bleeves Crypto, and this is my latest article, Tapped In, The Evolution of Digitally Linked Assets. Go and follow me. Learn a little bit about cryptocurrency. It's very important.
Uh, Cryptonomy offers high quality research from professional analysts, 24 seven instant support for every community member and other information channels where critical updates are posted daily. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to go into each one of those channels, the Cryptonomy Update, the Cryptonomy Finance and the Cryptonomy News channel. One of the biggest plays right now is real world assets. So I am about to drop 1100 link into a staking contract that's gonna last me for nine months with a 64.8% return. Just like that, we're staked. Guys, if you're interested in keeping your money and making more of it, then cryptonomy.finance should be on your radar. Sign up today. But it should get pretty, pretty serious here. Uh, as far as the rest of this article, a little bit of fluff uh, and, and no real, uh, here's the question really. Uh, the price was up about 1% what today and exchange hands at four zeros, 81.75. So we're about 4X away from that part that they're talking about. However, a recent lunk price analysis hints at a potential rally for the crypto to three zeros three. Will they read me? Will they like watch me and wait? Like we were talking about this rally going back months and months and months. Let's go look at the chart and I will show you uh, months and months and months worth. Uh, I put it all the way up, y'all, all the way up, y'all, uh, all the way up here. I know I'm saying it really weird, but come on, it's my show. Anyway, uh, this rally goes to this box right here. Uh, it goes just a little bit over the previous, uh, that previous high top uh, going into this sort of resistance range right here. So guys, is it saying it's gonna go to uh, 303? Yeah, because I told you guys this, uh, blah, 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 because we created it and then when we create, uh, March of 2024, that you know that's gonna be that impulse move. And if we get a breakout from that range, then this would be the 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 radical sort of move, okay? So uh, we know that that's getting ready to happen. We know that's gonna happen, but let's talk about short term. In the short term, let's zoom in on it. Now, uh, we had this break here. We broke out of that ascending sort of channel, right? And then we we unsuccessfully back tested, okay? What does that look like? All right, so this was the channel that we were coming through, right? And then we broke out and then we came back here for a retest and you can see that the market started to wane. This was the moment that the market was on that come down and it broke back into the range and then bounced above and then quickly dropped below. So that means that we had an unsuccessful breakout attempt. Now that leads to the question, well, what happens next? And what we did was, so we're removing that channel and we're gonna zoom out just a little bit. Now we're going back to our FIB tool and our FIB tool says that if we don't get a successful bounce off of 8,000, this is that 8,000 range right here. FIB tool tells us that if we don't get a successful bounce here, which it looks like we're gonna get a successful bounce. However, again, I told you this market's coming down. If it does, then this is your next goal right here, 4075. Now look, you want price go up. You don't want price go down. I know that. I'm not saying that uh, I'm not saying that this is optimal. However, buyers have to step in, so we have to give them a range in which buyers can step in. So um, between this and this is going to be the goal for accumulation again. Now uh, you you might not like that, and I understand if you don't like that, but we have to come back here and we have to look at the reversal of trend. And I want you guys to notice that we have reversed our trend. It's not coincidental. Okay. Now that does not mean that we're out of the clear and that we're not going to, to have a, a lower low. Uh, I want you to look over here and you can see the same thing happened over here. We had a nice little run up here, uh, sideways action, which we're getting right here. We had a secondary test a little bit higher, or you can say that this move right here corresponds with this whole move right here. But then what happens? It comes all the way back down. So <clears throat> the market might not be done with us yet. Okay. That's an honest assessment might not be done with it. And remember, doesn't matter what you want, doesn't matter what I want, matters what market makers want. So the market makers are giving us higher lows right now. That's a bullish indicator and that's a bullish signal. Doesn't mean we're not gonna have a retest, but let me also point out that in the event that we were to have a retest uh, and that retest came all the way down to right here, guess what? That's still a, a higher low. So that's improvement progress regardless of what your opinion is about it. That is some progress in a good move. So uh, back to it. By the way, I hope that made perfect sense to you. All right. So um, if we have a successful retest, then I would suspect that we're going to have 
this big move. Now there's an impulse move that's probably ready to go, taking us to this 86 and then up above into this 9,500 range before consolidating again back down here in this 9,000 range. Now, I can't tell you that it's gonna be at that 9,000 range. I'm telling you that in a positive momentum environment with no good indicators other than a positive market, that's what would happen, okay? There's many, you, you, sh you know as well as I do, that there are many factors that uh, can change that at a moment's notice. So, you know, let's at least recognize that there's a possibility here right now that we are gonna be in some really cool shape going forward. So I want you to know that first. Um, but I do think that that's going to be the move. And then after that move, then that's where we start to get into the daily grind of everything. And that's where we start to look at what we're looking for, what you should be looking for. <clears throat> 161.8 golden ratio. What's the golden ratio? Positive news, uh, the, the flipping on of the liquidity pool into risk asset, all of that that's going on in the United States right now would lead you to hitting that 161.8 golden ratio a lot more frequently or a lot easier than you would before. Where is that golden ratio right now? Three zeros, 16299 from this last impulse move. In fact, you see this yellow line. This yellow line became, we had this out here before we used our FIB tool, right? It just so happens that it's right in the range of the 161.8. So, and why is that? I don't know, because we're geniuses, I guess. Uh, but, but that's ultimately where we go. And that's where we get perhaps our best and most significant bounce because there's a nice range once we've exited a bunch of sellers. And look, there's a lot of buyers down here. When we get up here, there's gonna be a massive sell-off and a sell-down coming back down into a previous range. This previous range off of a big move, again, three zeros 12. So we're gonna have a move and it's gonna get uh, sticky icky and crazy. And then we have that pump all the way up here to fill out this descending sort of channel. And if this channel, look, this has been going on for a long, long time. So I would suspect that we're going to fill out this channel. And then that's when we get the chance for, in the event that we make it up into this range, then we make it up into this range, and then we have a chance to break it out and then get right here, three zeros, three, duh. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about it more. You know, we're not done with it. We talk about this every day. But let's move on right now. Just you guys have a plan. You have an idea. Uh, I'm not a genius. I'm not always right about this stuff. I just joke when I say I'm always right. So you, you guys follow this and decide for yourself if you think that that is the play. Let's get back into the news. So uh, proposal to remove uh, removal of forked modules from Terra Classic. And the reason for this, Terra Classic currently maintains forked versions of several mainline Cosmos modules. Uh, this approach has led to increased maintenance burden, difficulty in adopting upstream movements, potential security vulnerabilities due to delayed updates, and reduced interoperability among other Cosmos chains. So there is a question here. And by the way, there's consequence of no action. You guys go read this. I, I encourage you to go read this before you vote one way or another and decide whether this is the move for you. Also, adjust stable coins to be supported via CDP mechanisms. This is something Something, and, and by the way, guys, I had a long discussion yesterday about Repeg with some development uh, people. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if anything comes of it. You guys know my plan. I've already laid it out for you or given you kind of an idea of what it is. And good feedback so far. So uh, I don't know if that means that there's going to be anything as part of it. But here, I, I'm not a developer, so I don't have an accurate idea of how much uh, I'd be asking of devs. But I'm just theoretical at this point. Uh, previously, the Terra stablecoin served as a blockchain's unique selling proposition. Uh, but since supply control and swaps are disabled due to the 100% Tobin tax, there's no USP at this moment. Proposed solution is to re-enable stablecoins as the USP of the chain, but using a collateralized debt position inspired model. Now, here's the thing. You can't do that because there's no collateral. What collateral are you going to use? Uh, I did come up with a plan. And uh, like I told you guys, peg it to one cent until we have enough funds in USDT using my method uh, uh, to, to hold on to a stable peg at one cent. And then if the, algorithmically speaking, it allows for you to move it up to two cents, then you move it up to two cents. And we just continue to, to do that. And every time trades are done between USTC and LUNK, then you get burns and you get buybacks and you get USDT stabilizing. So uh, I think that's the method forward. I don't think that some of this stuff is, is you know, this stuff is is deep in the woods. I'm not sure that it's going to work. I'm not sure that it won't either, by, by the way. So there'll be a lot of people kind of commenting on this and looking through it <coughs> at some point pretty soon. 
and we'll get an idea of what that looks like. So let's move on because after that, then we get into my stuff over here about you and the repeg and stuff like that. Uh, floor price protocol for USTC. Uh, this person has a background in quantitative finance, has been doing traditional finance stuff for my whole career, bumped into the Terra Classic chain recently. I find it really interesting. Uh, he's going to give you a view. By the way, I encourage you, again, to go read through Commonwealth. Uh, decide for yourself uh, if these conversations are worth continuing. As far as meme coins go, uh, meme coins kind of sideways for the day, uh, maybe a little bit down, uh, you know, Roddy down about 6%, uh, boys kind of treading water sideways, holding on pretty good, food still holding up well, Juris Protocol holding up well, Garuda, uh, Garuda holding up pretty well too, Had, I think it's down just a tiny bit on the day, but generally speaking, doing pretty good, and by the way, uh, there's some Garuda announcement, yeah, they got a little red candle that happened over here on one of these hourlies, uh, two of them in the last couple of hours, so uh, down 1% in that 24 hours, but still up 1% over the course of the week. And look, this is the, here, here's the thing. Um, these things are about to explode. I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, as far as proposals go, uh, 110 validators is done. Uh, the rest of this, uh, no update, no opinion until we get kind of an update and start to see people voting on what they wanna do. Uh, as far as volume goes, up 28% on the day, but down 3% in market cap. Uh, same thing over here, up 14% on the day, but down 1.8%. It mean, just means the sellers are moving into the to the space right now and selling off. Also, uh, cla uh, Classic Notes issued a post over here, uh, chain upgrade. So in case you guys didn't know, 3.1.5 is here, and all of the validators are updating to uh, 3.1.5. Garuda, that's who we're talking about. And look, there's a lot going on in the background of Garuda Big Bang X, Garuda DeFi over here. So uh, here's the, let the, let's the money work for you on Garuda DeFi. Thanks for the flowchart idea, right? And what does this say? Hybrid staking. You've got the ability for staking. And what does this say right here? Guys, it's about to get serious. Like when I tell you stuff is getting serious, guys, I mean, it's getting serious. USTC staking is coming, okay? So uh, I think that maybe you guys should at least just consider here that this um, that, that this protocol, Luna Classic Blockchain, might just have some stuff getting ready to happen, okay? Uh, now, Garuda X over here, uh, trade, earn, create. Here is the swap for Garuda X. Uh, you can provide liquidity. Uh, you can withdraw, uh, stake your CW20s. Uh, you can have hybrid staking over here. Um, there, there's a lot, again, there's a lot to unpack when it comes to Garuda. Let me also say that not too long ago, just a couple of days ago, that Garuda had a record for transactions in a day at 425. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not a whole lot. Well, this is a, a dead market and, 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 you know, this is a recovering chain from... A catastrophic sort of thing. So it just reached a new all-time high with 425 taxes. Stake and support your favorite tokens on Garuda. And let's get crazy. APR up to 500%. Um, so uh, guys, it, it, there's just a, uh, there's an opportunity here for you. And I think in my opinion, you're missing out. So stop missing out. Um, get your feces coagulated, as they might say. And uh, let's stake with Garuda. Also, uh, Lunkburn, 871 million. Looking good. And if you want to look really good, then you should be using Terra Casino. It's owned by Owl, Dow, and let's go through it uh, because, look, <laughs> I keep telling you guys, and, um, you know, sign you got to sign up. Look, if it, either you don't like money or, I don't know, something's broke in your brain. You know what I mean? Uh, so, Pragmatic Plays giving away 400000 from October, August 26th to September 30th with Terra Casino. Uh, also, World Poker League, 2 million euros from September 20th to December 22nd. 1.2 million from Evolution Gaming from September 2nd to September 29th. And uh, the payouts for the slot machines have been increased. You can use Luna Classic. You can use Luna. What are you doing with your Luna? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon Matic, Litecoin, uh, Chainlink, um, uh, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin. Uh, there might be one that's coming up. Uh, X going to give it to you, uh, but I'm not going to tell you any more until we get some confirmed, but uh, X going to give it to you. So we'll see what happens there. Um, also, if you're not you should be trading on Terraport. Uh, there's all of the pairings that you have that are available. And of course, we're earning while we're doing this. We've got our Terra staked. I don't have a large supply of Terra, but our Terra is staked. You know what I, I do have as well, though? I think uh, Base. Uh, I think Garuda, maybe. There's a lot of protocols here, but I think Base. I think I might have Base staked as well. Uh, anyway, if you're not staked right now, the only opportunity you have right now is the 14-day period uh, with the 16% APR. And uh, the rest of it, guys, sold out. 
What does sold out mean? It means people care. It means people want to be part of it. It means people are um, uh, engaged and involved. So uh, you should be too. So that's it, guys. Go check out Garuda. Uh, make sure that you're engaging with these protocols. If you do that, then guess what? The, the, the system grows and you're part of it. So anyway, thank you so much for your time. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.